those three finals. Lots of speed, I'm lots very, of very excited about. What about you? Yeah, just look at yeah same level. opinion as we see the first final that's in the offing. We've got a mix of different talents. We've got Ide Hoon, as you said. He's got that Roger Federer-like ability to produce. Mirashim Hosseini on form against Bradley Sinden. Lauren Williams, the whirlwind, always going forward. So anything to choose for. The last one in the heavyweights could be a good one as well. A, a, a good one for all the tactics and the adaptability, but a good one for me, the last fight, just to see some real quality nice taekwondo because they can both kick really well they can both move really well they've got some variety there so for me that'll be a really nice one to watch as well to just have just to see some good taekwondo as you say that's the ones we're a very privileged position in the commentary box but you do sometimes forget that you're commentating when these fights come up they're the best ones i think when it's when it's, there's not really much going on it'd be a little bit difficult but then again these are world-class athletes and there's a reason why maybe so a little bit boring because Manchester, they have their tactics and they just want to take that one shot to win a match. kilogram men's final. Please welcome out in blue from Korea, Dae Hoon Lee. Well, here he comes, Lee Dae Hoon, the three-time world champion. Well, he needs very little introduction, so I'm not going to give him one. The great moment for these little mascots is Achi again from June Saw. And for the final in red from Iran, Mirashem Hosseini. Well, Mirashem Hosseini, I was going to say fresh from that win against Bradley Sinden, but he was ran close by this the youngster from Doncaster, a win against the Olympic please champion as well. Please keep it loud. Mirashem Hosseini makes his way in. He brought in by. Another little girl from Doncaster, Elizabeth Adamson from Scorpion Taekwondo. Very happy, very excited. I think you should be running for the local mayor of Doncaster, Sarah. You've managed <laughs> to get that in. <laughs> I might as well. Let's, let's do it. That's it. Be proud of your heritage. And speaking of heritage, well, top class Taekwondo nation, the Islamic Republic of Iran, going against the foundation nation of Korea. For our first final. Lee Dae Hoon, of course. The prohibitive favourite coming into this one. However, there has been signs. Had a little conversation with me before. He said he's got such a packed schedule. Had to win the Korean Nationals. Had to win the Asian Games. Had to win the Rome Grand Prix. Here he is again. Tiredness can kick in. It can, it can. And in Hussini, he's the only person that's beat him this year. You know, third time lucky for him, maybe. So he's got, you know, he's got something to to really gain from this, he Manchester wants to win this. Noise. Yeah, as you say, will it be repeat or will it be revenge? Edi Hoon going against Mirashim Hosseini. The three-time world champion. A couple of Olympic medals to boot as he boots the head guard there to test. And Hosseini, been very, very good value all season. He himself won the Asian Games in the higher weight division, the 73s. So he boils down to 68s, but it all boils down to this one. Day number one, final number one. And who's going to be the number one at the end of this one? Going for gold, Ide Hoon from Korea, Mirashim Hosseini from Iran. Six minutes to decide, and it's the Korean that decides straight away. Very strong start there from Ide Hoon. Not as relaxed as he was in the first match. He's really ready to put his stamp on this match. Yeah, as you rightly say, stamps to the chest of Mirashim Hosseini. Starts with that nice two-pointer, nice twisting kick from Hosseini, something different from him. Of course, when you share the ring with someone so many times, there's a danger you can fight the match that you'd fought previously, so sometimes you've got to change things up. Yeah, I think that's, that's right, John, exactly. If he's got beat twice by him this year, then he needs to do something different. Making the difference on the scoreboard, Edie Hoon just Plops that push kick Just onto the board. Just again, that's, he's a master at, again, another six points with the same shot. Finding where the gaps are on that body armour. And by doing that, 
easy six points. As you see, free and easy, six to the good. Landing perfectly. And being a shameless Sadie. Bradley Sinden would tell you, not easy to hit. No. Not so for Edie Hoon. But for me, Lee Rio, what do you do now? Do you go back? Do you shut down? Do you move around the ring? I love, the, I love the way you're looking at me for an answer. Is he always going to find those shots? I think you're absolutely right. He's always got that option, but do you just throw caution to the wind and, and try and turn on the power? Turning on the quality again, of course. But the main man for a reason. The only thing that's eluded him has been Olympic success. Lost out to Ahmed Abagosh. A good punch there from Hosseini. And what the Jordanian did in that Olympic Games threw caution to the wind. Started spinning, doubling, did all sorts of Indy Hoon got caught in the headlights. Yeah, exactly. So these people need to look at that and see how they can change it up, mix it up. You can't just play Ide Hoon's game. If you go to his pace, you probably lose. In all probability, Minashin Hosseini has to turn on the afterburners and give it some welly here. But it is Ide Hoon justifiably in that lead. Changes now into that open stance. More than happy to invite the Iranian in. Also had a good chance to talk to him before. Good punch from the Iranian. Headshot Excellent just missing. Cover. Excellent cover by Ide Hoon. He knew he was going to come in with a punch, put his arm in front of the body armour and then move back out the clinch ready. Excellent, changed it up there. You've seen it changing it up, not just going for the front leg, twisting kick and then back out of the clinch, not engaging. Great option. A great option and very engaging fair here. Nine points shared, Ide Hoon. We had the momentum, took it clean and clear. Of course, this now final here. here Aiming for the gold. And Nina Shane Hosseini needed to find something different, as you said. He's managed to do that. These twisting kicks working well. Finding that body armour, exactly the same as Ede. When to go forward, when to go back, and so does Red. It's a case of both of them know, know their own distance, and they just like to exchange. Well, into the open stance, and here another test of the head guards and body armours. So it's testing times for all concerned here. Mira Shem Hosseini beginning to creep back into this contest. Ide Hoon started fast. We're fast approaching the end of the first round here. Derini, good punch again. Cuts it to two for sure. The judges, no love for the punch. So you can hear that from the back of the arena. They're going to go back to their coaches. 6-3. Good signs though from Hosseini. Much better. Much better to see. I think he's really given Ide Hoon something to think about there. So... He needs to be ready in that second well, round. Excellent to see, round. though. We're just seeing there. Six, well, the conversation three, before three, Edie Hoon in depth, his dad used to run the gym. He started to take on to it three. So he says that he used to train every day and had no choice. They didn't go home, so he would train for five and six hours a day from the age of five and then into the green system. So that, he doesn't get tired. The kicks to him are, are boring almost. It's just a yeah, normal. Yeah, like walking. If you're doing it from three years old, it's like him just, you know, getting up, brushing his teeth in the morning. That's, he's just going to start kicking to the bathroom. Exactly, and he's given the brush off to this man so far. But signs of a smile for the Iranian coming back into this. Yeah, I think the last dying seconds of that first round is going to give us an insight into potentially how the second round could start. But Ide Hoon will, will be ready. If we're ready, he's going to be ready. Yeah, when he duly is, he starts as the aggressor. Bit of a low block there with the knee. Will that be invalidated? It looked like a sore one, a gam jump. The referee says yes. Points. Changed to 7-5, and yes, excellent refereeing there. Impressed for that. Yeah, excellent to take those off. But an excellent sign of respect between the two. As you see, those points taken off. Little handshake. I'm saying it unintentional. The intent of Edie Hoon is clear. Look at the strength and the clinch there. But too strong, perhaps. Ah, 
Chelsea, Edith, who doesn't like the clinch or love the clinch, so what it does, it does well, either ties them up and moves back out. But very strong either way, John. Yeah, as you say, very strong going either way, but a very strong response here from Hosseini. Finds a little gap there. You mentioned that coming out of that middle distance, the Iranian finds him again, but Edith Hoon, champions respond. Yeah, that counter shift that back leg again, changing it up. Chop kick, front leg to the face. But still quite close. Ide Hoon has really had to step up though. Yeah, as you mentioned there, the clinch only being used to kill the clock there from the Korean. Steps out, avoids the head kick. And it's those little insights that you're providing there, Sarah, that are the key because people are attracted to the kicks and the blocks as they, they rein in here. But they're working that close distance. That's what can make the, the biggest difference. And it has done, for me, Zazzini, you know, that short distance is really where he's been able to capitalise his shots. And who can capitalise here? It is, of course, a full contact martial art and combat sport. So the doctor required here a bit of a sore one. Looked like a knobbly knee clashing against each other there. Never fun. And those little knee injuries, the little bruises, they tend to be the the most painful as well. It's right on the bone, isn't Always it? Always the way. Well, this one is on this the bone, but near the knuckle as well. Yeah, there was the clash of knees. Hussaini felt it straight away. Ide Hoon, another flying kick there on the way through. Yeah, the adrenaline will keep him going for the next round, I'm sure. I think that this injury wouldn't cause too much problems. A bit of free spray on it should be all right. Yeah, as you say, the magic free spray. I think from the doctor, nice the etiquette from both the referee having a little look at this one here. He can play the video replay card on his own, maybe checking to see a potential gam job. So was it an intentional knee block? It didn't look like it from this angle, but they will have well every angle, as do you at home. And of course, plenty more taekwondo. Two more days of taekwondo action been a good start yeah I was just gonna say it has been a good start today so we're looking forward to the rest of the weekend we've got a lot to live up to for tomorrow and Sunday I think yeah a lot to live up to and a lot to go for here the gold medal in the Grand Prix and of course a little limp there from Ede Hoon as you said the adrenaline will kick in as they kick each other and push well, themselves say, towards the uh, end here five now, grand for a win though not too bad not bad is it it's not bad Explosive nice weekend's work. Food, it? The body then and switch the yeah, but no one the really making a meal of it here so far. Both coaches that keeping their calm right and keeping the counsel so of both fighters. To the body, looking to work in that short distance and then taking uh, that second and third so Mira Shane was saying it goes back to his coach, just gets rid of some Let's sweat from the head guard there. They are working very hard, of course, under the TV lights. can light up the arena here. Big opportunities for both men. Lost track of how many times they've had to shake hands. But anyway, who's going to be holding the medal in their hands at the end? And which colours are going to be at the moment? The Iranian heading for second prize. But as you said, Sarah, still close. Only the three points. Very close. Another two points there from Ideu. Relentless, finding those shots. I get that body shot there, but a punch there from Hussini. Tying him up there. Hussini strong in that short distance. Yeah, he loves a chop kick to the back of the head as well, does the Iranian. So, as you say, Ide Hoon has done his homework. Back from both. Lasting home there from Ide Hoon. Good block from the Iranian. Punch over the top. But no dramatics, which, was, which is nice to see in contrast to one of our previous matches. Absolutely, the only drama here in terms of who's going to get the scores on the board. Mirashim Hosseini comes close as we come close to the end of another excellent round here. Round number two is in the books. That's the Korean retaining his four-point lead. Limping a little bit, perhaps, Ide Hoon. I think they both look a little bit wounded, John, so it's probably 
you know, quite plain, play, quite even for the and both. The second, but that's what you get, right you know, you're fighting the best in the world, you're having three, four matches, you're going to get bruises, you're going to hurt. One more round left, I think it's going to be an exciting last round. And you've been in many a final, both European, world, top level finals. Do you ever fight uninjured or have you always got something? I, I, I don't think you, you can be a Taekwondo world class athlete or even not even just, the, you know, the world top level, you know, because everyone's still striving for that opportunity and still competing everywhere. You're never going to be 100% injury free. And even when you retire, you know, I can testify to that as we both sit here in the commentary box in a relative luxury. Creaking. Creaking, Creaking, exactly. I thought it was the floorboard, so I was going to blame it on that. But treading the boards here and treading on thin ice at the moment, the man from Iran, four points down. And thankfully, the protector test not needed this time. A so bit of a limb, as you say, yep. both players. Nicely dragged down the body protector there from E.D. Hoon. As you mentioned previously, just when you think, well, you could fight the claw, you've got the lead, why don't you counter, why don't you wait? The Iranian, yeah, he is struggling. Doesn't look as if he's continuing there, has a little nod to his coach and the doctor. Is he going to be able to continue? I think he'll give it another go. We're saying no, but... Yeah, a big shake of the head there. Well, the referee has to be wary of the fact that his job is the safety of the fighters. It's a definite big injury. Doctor required. Never Easy. nice to see this. You've had a few knee injuries yourself, Sarah. You know how this feels. Yeah, I mean, yeah, knee injuries always make me um, wince. Wince, cringe. Ooh, yeah, we're well, yeah, same position there. They tested sound. that. Yeah. I hope that wasn't what I thought it was. Yeah, that looked like an ACL injury of which... Which it would be, a, oh, you know yeah. what, it's a shame for any athlete, but for someone up and coming, exciting, young, yeah. you know, to, to have a major injury, I, I pray that it's not the injury that we are both thinking, so... Yeah. Very sad to see. Yeah, very sad to see, but it is a full contact sport. Edie Hoon, very respectful, waiting there, and didn't take any free kicks there when he could have, the referee left the door open but Ide Hoon waited and of course well the wait will be over now it's going to be a gold medal no question about it for Ide Hoon either by way of points or indeed by way of the referee stopping the contest and when they do that little manipulation to test for the knee it's usually for the ACL and I know I'd say that it's not I've had the same injury it's not much fun to look at I mean I don't think they need to be playing with it to be fair yeah, right now exactly. let's um why are you <laughs> why let's are you making him let's, 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 why are you making him scream on the mat he's clearly yeah. had a, done something really serious to his knee let's um let's just leave him alone we don't have to diagnose it on the mat exactly the only diagnosis well, we needed was the main man Ede Hoon not the yeah, way he would like to have done it but he'll take the gold he'll take the five thousand dollars and of course our thoughts and as you said Sarah our thoughts and prayers with him that he gets a quick recovery silver medal but those type of knee injuries they can take a, a bit of a yeah. time to recover yeah and it, it almost does look like a classic ACL it's, I'm really hoping that it's not because you never know it could be a lot of things but you know the way when you do hurt such a major ligament you do tend to not know what it is at first and you think oh I can carry on and then it's you know it's like you can't it's something's gone yep and gone from this competition yeah. but such a lovely a, show yeah. of respect Ida, who is again, is an inspiration. is a nice person, very, very respectful. Yeah, of course, not the way he would have wanted it. Wanted to fight to the finish, but doing his job and another gold medal for Ida Hoon. Well, with our, our own Bianca Walton in terms of that Grand Prix success, this man here laying down a marker already this season. Nothing but gold. Excellent, absolutely excellent. Again, an all-round legend, inspiration. And he's a massive role model to the younger generation, especially again, like I said, especially those ones that maybe are not, hello, I'm here screaming and shouting. So it's okay to be a quiet assassin, as we say, the Roger Federer of Taekwondo. As you say that, as he shows the respect to the teammates from the Korean national team, and the youngsters in the crowd, young and old, appreciating their, that sporting spirit and of course, we didn't want to see the injury for the Islamic Republic of Iran. But it is a tough old sport, Taekwondo. And I think a thing that you've talked about, of course, it's an Olympic sport as we see the youngsters in the crowd. It's also a martial art as well. It's got that etiquette at its core. Exactly. You know, you don't learn, you don't walk into a gym and learn how to, to win a Grand Prix or learn how to kick someone in the head. 
you know, you learn how to respect each other, bow to each other, you know, you learn the ethics of Taekwondo. So you, you learn that from the beginning, not how to fight. So that's instilled into all these athletes. And that's what I love about this sport. You still have that respect afterwards for everyone, not just the athletes, for the referees, for the coaches, for the, for the, for the spectators. Yep, respect all round, as we see some of the top class highlights here. Obviously the injury was what we wanted to see, but Ide Hoon, he was just beginning to turn up the intensity Yeah, there. he was, and it would have been really interesting to see how Pacini coped with that step up from Ide Hoon. Would it have been an advantage to him or not? But unfortunately we didn't get to see with his knee injury, so such, such a shame. Yeah, as you say, such a shame. But going back with the silver, very shame was saying it, Ide Hoon, the main man, grabs the gold, 